today we are starting a very important topic of chemistry that is mole concept once you understand this topic chemistry will be very easy for you once you don't understand this in future also chemistry will never be easy for you okay so mole concept now see we know that uh, if i uh, say that one dozen of pen that means how many pens are there one dozen of pen means there are 12 pens right 12 all right now if someone says that one mole of atoms suppose just an example one mole of hydrogen hydrogen atom that means that means how many hydrogen atoms they are talking about one mole of hydrogen means one mole means it's a specific number that number is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 this number means one mole and this number is also called Avogadro's number this is also called Avogadro's Avogadro's number okay now if someone says that one mole of hydrogen as I already told you that means how many atoms of hydrogen are there 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms if someone says what is the mass of one mole of hydrogen mass remember that the mass of hydrogen one hydrogen atom is how much one u but if someone says mass of one mole of hydrogen then you will write one gram not u if it is one mole you will write one gram if it is one hydrogen atom then you will write one u okay similarly try to understand what i'm uh, saying here so next suppose oxygen if someone says one mole of O. Remember, when we write O, that means it is uh, it is atom. As we write O2, it that means it is molecule. But here I am writing O, one mole of oxygen. How many molecule? How many uh, atoms are there? That means how many atoms are there? Avogadro's number: six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three atoms of oxygen are there. What is the mass of one mole of oxygen now? We know mass of one atom of oxygen is how much? Isn't it 16 U? Uh, one table we have, right? From that table we got that mass of one oxygen atom is this much. So what will be the mass of one mole of oxygen? Just like hydrogen, what I said? This will be gram. Okay. So mass of one mole of oxygen is oxygen atom is 16 gram I think it is clear okay now say another thing suppose if I ask you what is the mass of one mole of O2 now this is not atom this is what this is molecule I told you that mass of one mole of oxygen is 16 gram then what will be the mass of one mole of oxygen uh, molecule 2 into 16 this 2 is there right so 2 into 16 gives us 32 gram is that clear i think it is clear you under try to understand what i am saying okay as we uh, we will solve some sums also in that uh, case i think the whole theory will be clear okay certain things are here 
uh, this is an equation chemical equation what is uh, this chemical equation is uh, telling us it is saying that hydrogen H2 get combined with oxygen gives us water but here we can see that such some numbers are also there right 2 there is a 2 there is a 2 why this 2 we have written remember whenever we write a chemical equation the number of atoms present in left hand side should be equal to the number of atoms present in right hand side so if I write it like this H2 hydrogen plus O2 oxygen gives us H2O now see whether the numbers are same or not in left hand side and right hand side see in left hand side we have two hydrogen atom ok fine in right hand side also we have two hydrogen atom but you see the oxygen here there are two oxygen here there is a only one oxygen so this equation is not uh, uh, balanced balanced means the number of atoms of left hand side this side should be equal to the number of atoms of right hand side so to make it balance what shall we do if we give here 1 2 and here also 1 2 then the equation will be balanced how 2 into 2 how many hydrogen 4 4 hydrogen atoms how many oxygen atoms are here 2 oxygen atom let us see right hand side 2 into 2 how many hydrogen atoms are there 4 same with this now once we write this 2 here that means this oxygen also how many oxygens are there 2 oxygen atom this 2 is common for both for hydrogen as well as for oxygen so here we have 2 oxygen here also we are getting 2 oxygen so now the equation is balanced so that is why uh, this is the correct equation this one ok now as we write this kind of equation we can say that this 2 that we wrote here this 2 means 2 moles 2 moles of this H2 H2 is atom or molecule it is molecule H2 because molecule we know right that 2 atoms of hydrogens are getting combined to form uh, 1 molecule anyways so this 2 means 2 moles 2 moles of hydrogen molecule here in O2 we don't have any number before so if we don't have any number that means it is 1 so 1 mole of oxygen molecule get combined to give us 2 moles of water ok because 2 moles how we got this is the 2 2 moles of water alright so I hope this is clear certain things that we should know about a mole ok another thing let us see this chart one mole of carbon atoms means how many atoms one mole this many atoms right now this many atoms of carbon what is the mass of it mass of one carbon atom is 12u where did we get this 12u just a second i'll show you how we got just a second we got this masses from this table here see mass of carbon is 2 2 sorry 12 12 u that is the mass of one carbon but as we say that mass of one mole carbon one mole carbon then that will be 12 gram and one mole carbon means how many carbon atoms are there 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 okay that's what is written here in this chart okay this one so one mole of carbon atom means 12 gram of carbon and that means this much of carbon atoms this many okay similarly one mole of hydrogen atoms how many this many what is the mass one gram because mass of one hydrogen is one u so one mole means this many number so this many number the number will remain same one only but the unit will change that will be gram similarly one mole of any particle atom molecules ions but one mole whenever it is said one mole you have to understand this many particles 
and this many particle what will be their mass relative mass of those particle but in gram okay fine one mole of molecules just now i told you molecules when we say suppose oxygen o2 if i write then that is molecule how many molecules are there the number will be same only this many molecule but the mass this time when we say only o means this 2 is not there mass becomes 16 gram for one mole but as we write o2 the mass becomes molecular mass molecular mass means 16 into 2 that means it is 32 gram okay uh, okay uh, so for this video this much only we will solve some sums and i think in that case the whole uh, thing will be cleared okay thank you